Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a case of bronchiectasis. We are looking here at a bronchus. Bronchiectasis is a condition where there is permanent dilatation of the bronchi and bronchioles due to destruction of the smooth muscle as well as elastic tissue in the wall. And this is usually secondary to persistent infection. Some important underlying causes would be any immunodeficiency states or perhaps cystic fibrosis, which can predispose to infection, and also obstruction, for example, from a tumour or foreign body. So before we go into more detail, let's have a quick comparison with the appearance of a normal bronchus. On the left, we can actually see a normal bronchus, and here is the respiratory epithelium lining the bronchus, which is pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. We have some smooth muscle bundles in the wall of the bronchus. We also have hyaline cartilage and some bronchial glands. At lower magnification, we can see that this abnormal bronchus on the right appears much bluer, and this is because of the marked inflammation in the wall of this bronchus. Let's now take a closer look at this abnormal bronchus. Focusing on this very bluish area, we see that it is composed of inflammatory cells the components can be mixed, acute and chronic, and in this particular case, the predominant cell type is chronic. We can see many lymphocytes, and we also see them mixed with numerous plasma cells. For example, here are two nice plasma cells with the eccentric nucleus, the perinuclear pinkish hof, and then the bluish cytoplasm. There's one here, there's another one here. And as you look around, you'll see that there are lots of plasma cells as well as lymphocytes. So we have predominantly chronic inflammation within the wall of this bronchus. Sometimes the lymphocytes form lymphoid aggregates and occasionally we can also see germinal centers. The area where the smooth muscle is is here and all this has been mostly replaced by inflammation. The lining of the bronchus in this instance is mostly intact. In severe cases, there can be ulceration as well as sloughing of the lining cells into the lumen. And even though the lumen here is mostly empty, in the intact specimen, it is often filled with mucus and purulent material. Here we actually have some remnant acute inflammatory exudate here with fibrin admixed with neutrophils. In this particular case, the cartilage is mostly intact, but in very severe cases, the cartilage can also be destroyed with the smooth muscle and elastic tissue. And at low magnification, we can see that the bronchial cartilage is still intact as well as the bronchial glands. The process of bronchiectasis also involves the smaller airways such as the bronchioles and typically it causes dilatation because of the destruction of elastic tissue as well as smooth muscle in the bronchial and bronchiolar walls and this then leads to the appearance of these dilated airways almost extending all the way to the pleural surface in the gross appearance of the lung or the imaging of the lung. Here is a gross specimen of a lung that is affected by bronchiectasis. This is from our Virtual Pathology Museum in our PATH web online resource. And you can see here that this cut surface has got many of these cystically dilated spaces, which are bronchi as well as bronchiolar spaces. And some of them are actually filled with mucoid material. Scrolling down, there will also be some examples of gross cases of bronchiectasis with these dilated airways. And you can also see a video showing another example of bronchiectasis, which is also found in this pathology museum. So in summary, this is a virtual microscopic slide of a case of bronchiectasis, which is characterized by destruction of the smooth muscle and elastic tissue in the bronchi and the bronchioles by inflammation. This is usually secondary to infection. 
So any underlying conditions such as cystic fibrosis or immunodeficiency states or any obstruction such as by mucus plugs, by foreign body or by tumors may give rise to bronchiectasis. We see a variable admixture of acute and chronic inflammation in the walls of these bronchi as well as bronchioles. Sometimes there may be accompanying ulceration of the mucosa and we often see mucopyrulent material in the lumina of the affected airways. Thank you.